Hey foodie fam, let's make split pea soup. Because we are making soup, that means we have a good amount of chopping to do. So I'm gonna start off with cutting up my celery. It's cutting off the ends and putting the scraps in this produce bag, which is actually compostable. So I usually just take this up and put it into my composting bin. So I'm just gonna chop these into smaller pieces. It doesn't have to be too small or too big. The veggies for the soup is going to be some celery, carrots, onions, and potatoes alongside the split peas. And your soup is only as good as your base. And that's why I always use what I like to consider the holy trinity, which is the celery, onion, and carrot. And in the chef world, it's referred to as mirepoix, and that is French for something. <laughs> I can't remember what the translation is, but if you're making soup, you should almost always use celery, onion, and carrot as your base. Just the other day, me and my sister were talking about how much we love split pea soup and we miss the one that my grandfather used to make for us. That was kind of like his thing. Split pea soup and also um, barley and lentil soup. Those are both delicious. And unfortunately, I don't have the recipes for them. So I'm kind of trying to recreate that flavor based off of memory. And I just love that soup. So here we are. Sometimes I have these moments where I completely forget that I'm a chef. Um, and I will, you know, be on social media or watching TV and I see a food that looks so good. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I wish I could make that. And it's just like, oh wait, sis, you're a whole chef. You literally just need to get the ingredients and you can make whatever you're looking at and you know it's gonna be good. So here I am making the split pea soup because me and my sister were talking about it. So it's been on my mind and yeah. So I'm just cutting up two medium carrots. We're just doing a, probably like a medium dice to them. They don't have to be too small. So I'm literally just halving it and then cutting it into thirds and chopping along. I know a lot of people do not like chopping up vegetables or chopping up anything for that matter. And I don't know, I kind of find it to be a little therapeutic, just the um, repetition of it, I guess. And I personally thoroughly enjoy it. And I don't know if that's just because this is also like my career, but I just like it, I don't know. My carrots are cut, so we're moving on to our onion. Fun fact, if you don't want your onion to burn your eyes out while you're cutting it, you could soak it in some ice water and that helps cut out some of the um, gases that release from an onion that causes discomfort in your eye. Unfortunately, I did not do that with this, so I'm probably going to suffer a little bit while we're cutting this, but that's fine even though, you know, you almost, you just never get used to that feeling, but it is what it is. For the onion, I'm also going to do a medium dice. So just slicing across the onion. Boy, dicing. Also keeping on the stem of the onion helps as well with the burning factor. There goes another fun fact. I cut through this onion. And then we're gonna move on to peeling our potatoes. How come y'all didn't remind me that I gotta cut up some garlic? <laughs> so I have my garlic cloves here and I'm just smashing it with the side of my knife and make it easier for the skin to come off. I'm just gonna do this a few more times. I like to chop up my garlic um, 
in a group. So we're just gonna smash all these first. From here, I just roughly chop the cloves and then kind of pile them up and chop some more. I have my plaster rack back down, so now I'm just gonna peel my potatoes. And I have this plastic wrap on my cutting board to make it easier to transfer the potato peel to my compostable bag. So when I'm done, I just lift it up and toss it over into that bag. For my potatoes, I'm also going to be doing a medium dice. So I'm gonna cut them in half. And then in half again, and just them up. Our prep is all done, so let's move over to the stove. To a preheated large pot, I'm going to add in a drizzle of olive oil and let that heat up. I'm going to start off with sauteing up my onions. It's okay if a little bit of um, carrot or celery fall in there too. It's all going the same place. But we're going to saute this up until it is translucent. Then I'm going in with my carrots and celery. And we're also gonna cook this for a few minutes. It doesn't have to be soft. I'm just trying to make sure that all the flavor from each vegetable is going to be robust and throughout this soup. Now I'm gonna put in my potatoes. Move that around a bit. Let it get some of that oniony flavor. Now I'm going to put in the rest of my ingredients, which is my diced garlic cloves, my split peas that I washed. Ooh, that pretty green color. <laughs> also pouring in some broth. I'm using the no chicken broth, but you could also use the vegetable broth or you could just use water if you want. So I'm actually going to be putting in 12 cups of water. So I'm putting in two more of this size. I'm going in with some seasoning as well. So I have some bay leaves and also some salts, white pepper, marjoram, thyme, onion, and garlic. So I'm just gonna stir this together and then we're going to bring this pot to a boil. Our soup is now boiling. So we're going to bring this down I'll turn down the heat so it comes to a simmer. And we're going to put the lid on it and let it cook for 60 to 90 minutes. So this is the part where you kind of just let it go and maybe watch your favorite show or read a book. My split peas cooked down and softened in about 30 minutes. So now I'm just giving it one final stir and it will break up on its own. So I really didn't do anything to this, but let it cook. And what I love about this soup is that it is very high in protein and B vitamins. So this is really a nutritious, balanced soup. Now let's move over to my favorite part of these videos, which is the plating. I have my soup bowl ready, guys. So first I'm going to pick out the bay leaf out of my soup. Just leave it off to the side. And then I'm just going to stir our split pea soup a bit and ladle it right into our soup bowl. And I'm pairing this soup with some dinner rolls that I made earlier in the week. And there you have it, my split pea soup. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, healthy does not mean boring. See you next time.